next on a story we've been following out of Rusk. Tonight, the city council held its second executive session since allegations were made against the city manager. KTK's Kara Pritchard was there right now joining us live with information from the meeting. So, Kara, what happened tonight? Well, still no answers for the citizens of Rusk. Many people showed up tonight hoping to hear what will happen with city manager Mike Murray, who is currently under investigation by the Texas Rangers for illegally wiretapping. Now, after an hour and a half city council open session, only to adjourn moments later, as you can imagine, citizens are very upset. My frustration is, is I see too much in this town of a good old boy system. And nobody wants to call it out. Nobody wants to put a stop to it. And a lot of it's based on fear. People are afraid. There's a lot of support that, that I have heard. People even come up to me, and I'm not even heavily involved in this, but people will come up to me and they speak out frustration. This closed government, it's not transparent, and it's very hard for a city to grow when all the power is rested into a few people that don't share information and run it almost like a Central American government. I feel like I'm in Central America sometimes I'm in Rust, Texas. And um, this needs to change. This city has had no real growth since the 1850s. Now, a former lawyer and Rusk citizen also stood up once the meeting was adjourned and asked if he could speak, and he was denied. He then read the city of Rusk charter rules, which states citizens do have the right to speak during an open session, and the, but the mayor said the next meeting will be next Thursday, and he will be able to um, speak his mind at that time. Of course, I spoke to several others tonight, and I'll have their opinion up on our website, EastTexasMatters.com. Reporting live in Rusk, Kara Pritchard, KETK News. Kara, thank you for that. Well,